Uh, this is Chikelo Bakelichmu of the 21st uh, century Christian uh, Enlightenment movement um, from a, a reporting out of El Paso, Texas. Uh, still, it's, it's the second of uh, January 2015. It's going. I should think it should be around 11:30 or something, 11:30 a.m. or so, and. Um, we are talking once again about uh, the imaging, uh, the coming multiple world order, and uh, sharing uh, details of it, details of it with uh, the world. We have to put this whole thing once again in a historical context to explain that uh, these things, this kind of great, this, this kind of great changes that is coming on, that is going to happen, that it occurs all the time, you know, uh, you know, that it has occurred all the time throughout history. Every now and then you have these massive changes that uh, you know that happen. Cutting across one ideological direction or another, either in the, in the direction of conservatism or in the di direction of uh, liberalism. Last such major uh, changes witnessed by the world, as uh, a lot of history students know, came came as a result of the friend, you know the event. Uh, Produced by the French Revolution, the Enlightenment movement, uh, the American Revolution, the Russian Revolution, and a whole bunch of other events this major ones going back centuries and generations back. And all these events cumulatively this brought about the displacement of uh, the conservative world order. And its replacement with a liberal world order, and uh, this is the way this is, this has prevailed ever since then. You know, for centuries now, the world has been dominated mostly by liberal values in the areas of economics, culture, education. It has been liberal values that have been dominant. You know, ever since the French Revolution. The Renaissance move, uh, the Renaissance, and the Enlightenment movement. It has been liberal values that have prevailed across the world that has shaped, that has dominated in shaping um, the culture, the behavior, the political systems of the masses of the world. It's true that. Uh, you know, during this liberalism dominated uh, international order that we are still outposts of conservatism in different parts of the world, like uh, in places like China, like Russia, and uh, in much of the developing world. But it is really the liberal values of the most advanced industrial societies you know, in Western and Northern Europe that mostly, do, that mostly determined the shape and contour of the modern world. And uh, those, uh, the, the, these liberal values have become even more pre prevalent uh, through the vehicle of a globalization that has been surging across the world over this past couple of uh, decades. Well, the, the terrible thing about this is that these liberal values have all but decimated the structures that guaranteed moral and social order in the world for millennia. Traditional marriage, traditional family,
heterose uh, heterosexuality, gender, different, uh, gender differentiated complementary roles for males and females. All these age old values have been decimated by liberalism, by the assault of liberalism on them. And so, part of this work is to resurrect uh, these age old values that have sustained human society for millennia to resurrect them because their total breakdown their total breakdown will unleash mayhem a moral mayhem such as we have never this world has never witnessed and this is because there is now a factor called technology that wasn't around in the dangerous forms it we find it today you know in earlier generations Gener the technology now makes liberalism the values the destructive values of liberalism extremely dangerous and uh, without a sufficient counter move to minimize uh, the destructive effects of liberalism, you know, the, of liberal values upon the world, it would be an understatement to say that we'll be entering into the most anarchic phase of human history, the most anarchic, the most destructive. And we're already seeing uh, signs of that in the various ideologies uh, that radical liberals have been unleashing to totally decimate traditional values and uh, to the engineer society in a radically different image. Ideologies such as feminism, post-humanism, and uh, and a whole bunch of other such ideologies. It makes your hair, it, it makes your hair to stand on end when you read, when you, when, when you read and understand the extreme radicalism of, of the kind of society the liberals want to impose on the world. Now and in generations ahead, it makes your hair to stand on your end. Because they are not just talking about radically re-engineering and changing uh, human society. They're also talking about radically, radically changing human nature. Changing it from its foundational heterosexual structure into a fluid, indeterminate sexual structure in which in which uh, human beings can be switched, switched from being male to female or switched back from being female to male. You know, I mean, it, it boggles the mind. It boggles the mind at the, at the radical, you know, extremes of the project of the Libras. And uh, there is no doubt that left to their own devices, unchecked, they will succeed in imposing this extremely radical agenda upon human society. They will succeed. They're already working hard at it in laboratories across the world, in legislators across the world, in universities across the world. They are working hard to radically change human nature, destroy the heterosexual structure of human nature, and replace it with a genderless structure. They already they have already succeeded in, in producing uh, technologies that can bring about, you know, changes in the sexual structure of people, 
the socket sex change operations whereby they can pump hormones into people male or female hormone and uh, you know change people's uh, gender structure or at least sexual structure and they're also using uh, a, a massive propaganda barrage to basically change people's views as to what constitutes gender and correct gender roles and uh, given the native weakness of human beings you know the way they're easy to be manipulated they have really made they have made a lot of progress in making the rulers and the masses of the world to accept their radical agenda and uh, but like we said the the 21st century Christian Enlightenment movement, uh, one of its missions is to defeat this agenda of the liberals, to defeat it and to restore sanity to society. To restore sanity to society through comprehensive constitutional political and other changes other other changes across the world and so we have to understand that uh, the effort, this, uh, extreme, uh, this uh, extremely dangerous agenda of the liberals, that there is really nothing uh, unique about it uh, in the context of, uh, you know, the development of human history. Human beings by nature, you know, are extremely subversive towards the moral order. They always try to put, they have always tried to produce political, cultural, and other systems that will overthrow the moral order created by God. And so there's nothing unprecedented about this present effort by the liberals to overthrow the moral order established by God. It's just one in a long series of such efforts that human beings have made right from Adam. But uh, what makes this particular effort extremely dangerous, like we said earlier, is the advent of very advanced technology. That's what makes it extremely dangerous. One only needs to read the ideas of this post uh, humanist. Uh, uh, Transhumanists, or is it posthumanists, or whatever they call themselves, to understand the, the extent to which they, uh, they intend to go to totally deconstruct um, foundational heterosexual human nature and create something in its place. It makes the hairs, you know, at the back of your neck to stand on end just reading about the ideas. It is incredible, and uh, it is incredible what they intend to do if they are allowed to, and uh, and they would do it uh, under the very, under this present system, liberal democratic system. Of course, they would do it because this present liberal democratic system is really has really morphed into a system of lawlessness, moral lawlessness, in which you know rulers across the world, you know, with the support of the masses, have just basically launched an assault, you know, on the moral order, and so it. It is the, it is the, 
present uh, ruling establishment, global ruling establishment that is enabling uh, this agenda by the Negros uh, to destroy the traditional moral order and create uh, and replace it with a, a radical new system. We cannot, uh, you know, up the top of our head, go really deep in explaining where, you know, the uh, the 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 mother source of these ideas of you know these ideas by the liberals to, to, to destroy this uh, to, to, to destroy the traditional moral order. Mm -hmm. But Lord, let's just say that one of the factors behind it, behind these anarchic tendencies of uh, the liberals, if, or even one might even call it pyromaniacal tendencies of the liberals, is the breakdown, the collapse of true Christianity. By true Christianity, we mean the true Christian Christianity, the Christianity of Paul the Apostle, of James, of Peter, the first teacher and the first uh, leaders, Christ appointed leaders of the church. It is the breakdown of that uh, true Christianity, patriarchalist Christianity, that uh, basically created the environment, helped to create the environment that produced this. Pyromanians and anarchists that are behind this project uh, to totally demolish the traditional moral order and replace it with this extremely dangerous radical, uh, radical new system. It needs to be understood that Christianity was what helped to bring about the restoration of moral order to the world. Before Christianity, it was mostly Judaism that helped, you know, biblical Judaism that helped to spread and entrench the traditional moral order and diffuse it across the world. And then patriarchalist Christianity of Paul, of James, and the first leaders of the church then took over from Judaism as the guardian of the traditional moral order, influencing the making of laws, influencing the uh, construction of educational systems, cultural systems, economic systems based upon traditional moral values. And so it was patriarchalist Christianity that helped, that served, basically served as a role to whatever extent it was able to influence societies across the world, including in Eastern Heartland Europe. It was patriarchalist Christianity that helped to safeguard the traditional moral order, but then, uh, with uh, but then as as the world entered into the early phases of of uh, the modern era, you know, from around the 15th or 16th century, and so forth, a bunch of extremely irreligious intellectuals began their assault on the traditional moral order and also a lot of renegade Christian ministers began to turn against the truths of the Bible, the foundational truths of the Bible, basically denying most of the you know, foundational truths of the Bible and uh, cutting Christianity of its uh, salvational truths that serve us is power of influence in shaping uh, societies. And so over time, over, over centuries, over generations, these renegade uh, Christian teachers, theologians, pastors in the West basically rejected biblical Christianity and created their own kind of Christianity. You know, their own kind of Christianities. Feminist Christianity, humanist Christianity. 
and all that kind of Christianities that basically denied the foundational truths of the Bible. And it was this collapse of a patriarchalist Christianity that basically that uh, brought about the repaganization of uh, the then heartland of Christianity, Europe and North America. It was the collapse of uh, it was the collapse of um, patriarchalist Christianity from the assault of renegade Christian teachers and pastors that uh, basically brought about the repaganization of of. Westerns of, of formerly Christianized uh, Western societies, and it was this repaganization of Western societies that uh, brought about uh, these new breeds of, uh, you know, virulently anti-God, anti-Christian, anti-traditional moral order intellectuals that led the assault on the on the traditional moral order, and uh, that now served as the ideological spearheads of this new ideologies, you know, such as feminism and post-humanism that they want to use to totally demolish uh, the traditional moral order and entrench uh, and replace it with uh, an anarchic pagan world order. And replace it with an anarchic pagan